Hello, I'm Melissa. Welcome to my channel, Lemon Balm Yoga. Thank you for joining me today. Today we'll be doing a myofascial release class. So grab a couple of tennis balls. I also have a couple of therapy balls, which are not necessary. I was just going to show them to you. Um, but you want to grab a sock as well. So the, the two balls here are actually in a netting material, but we're going to use a sock instead. So you can put your tennis balls in there at one point. Also, you want to have a yoga mat. So you can use the one that you normally use. I just happen to have an extra one, so I'm going to use it. So go ahead and grab your props, hop onto your mat or on the ground, and we will get started. Okay, so today we are going to come to the front of the mat. Go ahead and take your tennis balls to the front of the mat. And finding your nice strong mountain pose. So our shoulders are going to loop down the back. Our feet are hip distance apart. Pressing evenly into both feet. Pressing into all four corners. And allowing the hands to meet at heart center. We're going to take a full inhale through the nose. Filling up the lower diaphragm. Filling up the lungs completely. As you exhale, release the air from soft lips. Inhale fully through the nose, filling up completely. And exhale, sign it out. One more round. the end of this exhale, go ahead and release the arms, flutter the eyes open, and we'll keep that deep breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Go ahead and slide one of your tennis balls onto the mat here, and we're going to give the sole of the feet a little massage, so <clears throat> this will feel differently for everyone. And you can just find those areas that you feel a little bit of tension, those are our trigger points, and you can hold in those areas. Breathe in for 15 to 30 seconds. Taking deep breaths, allowing this tension to release before you move on to the next. It's getting a little massage in today. I even like to spread my toes over the ball, giving the toes a nice stretch. They've been bunched up in shoes all day long. And eventually, we'll switch to the opposite foot. So, again, finding those trigger points that you have and breathing into those areas, allowing time to release and relax. This is great to do at the end of your day if you've been standing all day long. Again, you may spread the toes, and when I move on to the next, if you need to pause the video and continue with the area that we're working on, feel free to, and join back in whenever you're ready. From here, we're going to go ahead and make our way onto the ground. Okay, so once you come on down, we're on the ground, we're going to come to stand on our knees, and you can do this on a very soft surface under carpet as well. You're going to take your tightly rolled mat, and you could also tightly roll a blanket if you could really get it tight. And we're going to start by placing our mat close to the backs of the knees and then slowly come to sit down. This is great for the hamstrings. You can always lift up a little bit. You know, you're, you're playing around with this, seeing how much pressure you need. Tuning into the breath. One thing is just giving the muscles time to relax. And 
And once you feel satisfied in one area, just slowly lift up, moving your mat a little further back, settling back in, tuning into the breath. There can be many different causes of myofascial pain. One important thing is relaxing the muscles, which is very hard when we're in tense and stressful situations. So our breath is our best friend, tuning into the breath. And you can do this throughout your day. It's going to help you release tension, concentrate on relaxing the shoulders down the back. Relax in the jaw. And one more time, you can take it a little further, right before you get to the ankles, placing the mat back down, sitting back down, finding your full breath. Beautiful job. Let's go ahead and make our way onto our seat. Once you arrive, you want your two tennis balls close by, and we're gonna take our feet out a little wider than hip distance and making a V with the leg. Removing the fleshy part of your bottom to get really grounded in your sits bones. And then you can kind of slightly bend the knees and we're going to place the balls underneath the thighs pretty close to the sits bones. And you can start to straighten the legs any amount here. Still trying to find a nice long spine. You can take the fingertips behind you and you may start to rock a little forward and back. Just finding those trigger points to hold and breathe into. Feels so good. So you'll feel a pretty deep sensation once you find those trigger points. If it's too painful, just go ahead and move to another area. A lot of times we have those points pretty close by and you can release a little of that tension close by and maybe come back to those points. Breathe in for 15 to 30 seconds. You want to make sure today, after this practice, that you drink plenty of water to flush out the toxins that we're releasing. Great, and then once you finish, go ahead and bend the knees, move the balls. Now we're going to go ahead and place our balls in a sock and make our way onto our back. Gently coming down. I'm gonna use the net bag with the two therapy balls since I have that close by. We're gonna walk our feet in, finding that nice long spine so the back of the neck is nice and long. And pressing evenly into both feet, we're gonna lift the hips up and you're placing either ball and you can spread the balls a little further apart. Either ball on the area of the glute. So we're finding those fleshy areas, not pressing straight into the bones. So finding that nice fleshy area on either side. And then you can roll a little here to find those pressure points, those trigger points. And once you find an area, a nice juicy spot, you can keep the knees bent as you take full breath or you can extend the legs out long, and you can do one leg at a time, taking your full breaths. Good. 
given time to release and relax. Good, and you can bend the knees again if the legs are straight, and you can roll up the if you have some areas in the lower back that you would like to target. Given each area time, 15 to 30 seconds at least, breathing into these areas. Allow the body to melt a little more with each breath. And of course, you're controlling the pressure here, so listen to your body if you do need to back out. Great, and you can make your way all the way up the spine. Once again, I want to make sure that you're not placing the balls directly along the spine. You're finding a fleshy area on either side. I'm going to go ahead and lift the hips up and remove the balls. And I'm going to move back to a tennis ball. So you need just one now. And we're going to place it underneath the right shoulder, finding that nice fleshy area and releasing the head down. You can extend that right arm out, and this is a huge trigger point for me, so I'm gonna stay in the area that I'm at right now. Softening my face, releasing my jaw. Taking deep breaths, breathing into the area. May even shift a little, just a gentle movement here. Continuing deep in breaths, softening the body. You can even start to lift the hips up here. This is going to deepen it. So we're coming into a bridge pose. And as you lift, you're engaging the glutes and inner thighs. I'm gonna take one more breath here. I'm kinda of massaging the ball up, pressing the tension away. And then slowly releasing the hips if they're lifted. And if this is way too intense for you, lay it on the ground, even on carpet. When you start to move, to these areas laying on your back. You can also do this line in your bed. You'll have a lot more cushion. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the left side, finding a fleshy area to place the ball. And then you can play around with arm movement here too. It kind of feels good to me to take my arm out to the side. And finding a trigger point to breathe into. Your body is intuitive, so you kind of know what to do if you need to rock a little or move to a different area. Just listening to your intuitive voice. Maybe even lifting the hips again into your bridge pose. Nice, soft face. 
The brow is relaxed. One more breath. And then slowly releasing down. Oh, feels so good. Okay, and releasing the ball. I'm gonna go ahead and shift back a little on my mat. I'm gonna extend the legs up long. Now I'm gonna place the ball underneath the right side of my neck, and I'm turning my head towards the right, so not directly on the spine. And you're just allowing that pressure of turning the head to release tension here. And you can find a little forward rock or back rock, finding that sweet spot. Taking full breaths. and eventually lifting the head, releasing the ball and taking it to the left side. Turn into your left ear and release in here. You can always bend the knees and roll to a different area if you need to. Finding your breath. And one more breath here. And then lifting up the head, releasing the ball to the side. Go ahead and gently rock the head a little from side to side. Eventually the head will come to neutral. Walking the arms along your side with the palms up. Allow the toes to fall out. Take a nice full inhale that fills you up completely. As you exhale, side out between soft lifts. Let the body melt into the ground. Taking three cleansing inhales and exhales here. And then slowly bend in one knee and the other, rolling on to one side to press yourself to a comfortable seated position. Finding your nice long spine. Take a moment to notice how you feel. and allowing the hands to meet at heart center. Blessings and namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today. I hope you found ease and relaxation and that you are able to enjoy the rest of your day. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, Lemon Bomb Yoga. 
give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. I would really appreciate it. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like to see next.